I can barely hold on to the wheel and I'm like, oh Jesus, I'm like going down to 288 like this, right? What's up, bougie babes? It's your girl, Soup, 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 Susie B, back again with another video. I'm gonna start this at the beginning of all my videos until it happens. Black Lives Matter, okay? And that's it. All right, so I got a story time for y'all. So I've been thinking hard, like, man, what story could I tell y'all? Cause story times are really funny. I like to watch story times. And I'm a good storyteller if I have a good story to tell. So, boom. So this story is really funny. And uh, it like popped up in my memory the other day. I was like, I gotta, I gotta tell it, I gotta tell it. All right, so this is the story of the time that I was involved in a shootout on the freeway. All right, so this was back in the back, back days, back in the back, 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 back days. When I used to push a big body wriggle, you know what I'm saying? Slab dot, you know what I'm saying? So this was back 2008, 2009. I was pushing a 93 Buick Regal, you know what I'm saying? I was slapped out, couldn't tell me nothing. I'm from H-Town, so that's what we do, okay? So it, I was on my way to school. I was going to U of H at the time I was in college. And um, prior to me, like, on my way to school, like, the days leading up, my car had started shaking. But I wasn't, like, thinking anything of it because it just wasn't, it wasn't bad enough for me to care. So this particular day, I'm on my way to school and I'm driving and then my car starts shaking, you know, but then it starts shaking like violently. So I like can barely hold on to the wheel and I'm like, oh Jesus. So I'm like going down the 288 like this, right? And so then I'm like, well, hey, then all of a sudden, I, and so I was already about to start trying to exit the freeway. But then while this is happening, I heard boom. And I was like, oh my God. So I'm ducking down like this and I'm driving, trying to exit the freeway as safe as possible. Because I'm like, dog. Hey, so these people really out here trying to shoot me like it's so so the thought process i had right was like all right a sidebar i don't know if everybody does this but i for sure do this i like create scenarios in my head and then i like play them out like if this was to happen how would i respond type thing so this scenario has happened in my head before and now i get to play it out right so my whole thought process is boom i'm driving like this 93 Buick Regal slab, know what I'm saying? I look like I could sell drugs. I look like I may have paraphernalia in my car. My car looks like I may be a kingpin, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I thought that I was getting shot at because I'm like, oh my God, they mistaken me for somebody that they bought drugs from or something. And like the drug deal went bad or something like that and now they out to get whoever car they think this is, but it's not. It's just me. <laughs> so anyways, the, the, the scenario that I've been talking about my whole life is playing out. So I'm like, I'm in it. I, I got to get out of this, right? So so now I'm trying to get away from the gangsters that's trying to kill me. So I'm exiting the freeway, you know? And then as I safely exited the freeway, my car starts going, do good, do good, do good, do good. So I'm like, what the heck? They done blew my tire out. These dudes done shot my tire out, bro. This is. I was not putting two and two together. My car was shaking. Didn't do it. So I don't think they had shot my tire out. I'm like, man, I'm on the freeway. So I'm, I'm hyped. Like, so I get off the freeway. And the first person I think to call is my dad. So at the time, my daddy was working out of town. He wasn't even here. So I called him. I'm like, daddy, um, something wrong with my car. I think somebody was shooting at me on the freeway or something like that. I don't know. But um, my tire blew out or whatever. He was like, well, are you safe? And I was like, you know, on second thought, maybe I wasn't getting shot at because there's nobody around me. I just pulled into this neighborhood. And he was like, okay, well, if you save, get out the car and check your tire out. So I checked the tire out and I was like, oh my God, my tire is like shredded. Like it looked like somebody literally like started ripping it in shreds. It was so bad. And he was like, okay, well, call your brother because I'm not there to help. So I called my brother and my brother was like, well, I'm at work, so call granddaddy. He was like, make sure you got a spare tire or call AAA. And I was like, where will my spare tire be? He was like, in your trunk. And I was like, uh, I've been in my trunk several times. Like, there's no spare tire back there. He was like, kid, you have a spare tire in your trunk. I'm like, dog, I'm telling you, I put my backpack in my trunk every day. There is not a spare tire in there. He was like, all right, bro, just call granddaddy. So I call my granddaddy. So my granddaddy comes and he like, oh. <laughs> I love my granddaddy, so I'm not gonna imitate him. I'm just talking my regular voice. So he was like, um, all right, pop your trunk. Let me let me get your spare tire. And I was like, oh, I don't have a spare tire. And he was like, pop your trunk. 
So I popped the trunk and he lifted the flap <laughs> in the trunk and he was like, there's your spare tire. And I was like, oh, so now everybody looking at me like I'm crazy because I was like very adamant that I did not have a spare tire. But how am I supposed to know that there was a flap in the trunk that I'm supposed to be finding my spare tire? Like, I, how would I know that? Who somebody would have had to explain that to me before? Comment down below if you just automatically knew when you first started driving that there was a flap in your trunk to access your spare tire. Let me know down below because my parents, my brother, my granddaddy, everybody thought that I was slow because I didn't know this. But I'm like, if nobody told me, how would I know? <laughs> But yeah, that, that was it. That was the story time on how I thought I was getting shot at by some gangsters for a drug deal gone bad on 28. Uh, so yeah, I mean, comment down below if you got some crazy first time driving stories. I had just started driving um, on my own that year. So it was like a lot of stuff was happening to me that I would not know unless somebody told me. But you know, like... If you if you have never done it before, there's a first time for everything, you know? So yeah, that was my crazy story time. Thank y'all for watching. Please make sure you comment down below. If you want another story time, please don't tell me you want another one because these stories just have to come to me. I don't be remembering them half the time. But um, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you share this video with your friends. And please hit the bell notification so that you're notified next time I upload because if you don't hit the bell notification, you won't know next time I upload and you have to search my name. That's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I don't want to make you work. You know, I didn't want to work for you. So we'll just hit it so you'll know. Okay, thanks. Bye.